Yeah, I am the tax man here on AM560, The yes, Answer. Sir. Here with our technical producer, Deborah Schreiner, and my co-host, Jim Leahy, and you, the listener. And now, here's that man with a head just crammed full of knowledge, Mr. Know-It-All. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Know-It-All, the segment where Attorney Stephen Leahy and I give you, well... Uh, attorney Stephen Leahy gives you his infinite wisdom on all things taxes. I am not an attorney. Where Stephen Leahy, Attorney Leahy, shares his infinite wisdom on all things, things taxes. And you share your infinite questions, Jim. That's right. And the infinite questions really do come from the book. Uh, all infinite, uh, infinite, all that, 14 Jim? questions of the deal, the deal with, with your, your IRS, IRS problems today. today. And, and you go can to get free that free IRS book. Book. Dot com. That's very good, Jim. I, I'm already You've done this before. I have, and I have a question for you here. Okay, I'll try to answer it. How do I stop hurting myself in regards to the IRS? Well, that's a very good question, and it is. it comes into Chapter 7 of my book, How to Stop Hurting Yourself, okay? And the first thing that people do, and this is what gets people into trouble all the time, is not filing their tax return. So the first thing you should do if you have it is... To, to stop hurting yourself, stop filing your tax return. Start. Yeah, if, if, if you've return. missed a couple of years, don't don't worry about going back a couple of years. Do this year's tax return now. Do it. Okay, get, get start it now. And that's the biggest thing. Always file your tax returns. Now, one of the things about people don't understand is there's a statute of limitations on how long the IRS can go can audit you. Okay, they if you don't file, then they can audit you longer. Right. If I file, they only have three years to audit me. If they don't audit me, that's they can't go back. So that's just so important because uh, you want to put these stuff behind you so the IRS can't keep going back after you. So if I haven't filed in 10 years, technically, they can go back all those years and look at all of it uh, once I do file them to, to audit me. So I don't want that to happen. So that's the first thing. Right. Get your tax returns Filed. File those that you can now. If you have back tax returns, we could do those later. But do your tax return as you as you uh, as it comes due. Get your tax returns done. And this happens with people that are, that owe the IRS, but it also happens with people that don't owe the IRS. The IRS actually owes them a refund, and they don't do it. And you will lose that refund after three years. And I've had many people come to see me. They haven't filed their tax returns in 10 years, and they have a refund all those years. And then I have to break the news to them that all that money that you think that they're holding for you, they're not holding for you. That's not. They're not going to give you that money. Well, that money's gone. You can only go back three years to get your refund. So again, even if you, even if the IRS owes you money, file your tax return on time. And, you know, use the money that that they're going to pay you to get somebody to do it. It just makes sense. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then the then the next thing once you is start today in paying your taxes. Okay, because if well, I'll pay them next year. Well, actually, sometimes it is a better uh, strategy, but not always is the you know start paying. But you should always, if I work for somebody and I get a W two form, and I'm and every year I owe the IRS money, go to your job, go, get a W. There's a W four, and that's how you change the the deductions that they're taking out of your check. And you can go back a couple of years and and you know. Divide by how much you pay in taxes by how much your your gross is. It'll give you the your a percentage. You can write that in the W four. Take twenty three percent. Take eighteen percent. Take whatever. You can change that that amount. But make sure you don't owe the IRS after after that they're taking enough out of your check. So that's what that's another thing you can do. If I'm self employed, there's nobody taking money out of my check. All right, I'm getting paid by, you know, I'm getting paid by clients and they're paying me and and now I've got the money and now I'm supposed to be paying. Now, if I'm self-employed, I'm supposed to pay every quarter. You're supposed to turn around and pay the IRS every quarter. Now, people don't always do that. You should. But here's here's a way maybe you can do it. If I'm working, if I'm doing some business by myself, every time you get some money from somebody and take 20 percent, take it, put it, give it to the IRS. Write them a check. So I get $100. I give the IRS 20 
Okay, give it to them. And you can write it to them right today. You can write them a check. You don't have to wait to the end of the quarter. You can send them a check all the time. Just put your, your, your Social Security number down. Tell them what quarter it is, estimated payments for 2019, and send the money. So I, get a, I do a, a business. I got $10,000. Well, don't wait till next year. You'll spend the $10,000, right? Take $2,000 and, and send it to the IRS. Do it today. You could do it the same time they pay you. Take the 20% out right away and send it to the IRS. That's a way to, pre- to prevent this problem from happening you're paying because again you're get you get that money as a self-employed it, most people are used to being you know being a w-2 employee and that means someone's taking the money and and giving it to the irs i love when people tell me well oh the irs is uh i'm not paying any taxes uh they just send me a refund no they're taking it out of your check you're paying the tax okay so if i'm self-employed a good thing you can do is every time i get a check is to give the send the irs 20 percent of it It'd be, it it just would solve my problem, and then I don't have to worry about it. And if I owe a little bit more, I can pay a little bit more, and I can change the the percentage next year if I pay if I owe a little bit less. Or you can call I one can of get our a trusted refund. professionals so for refund. tax for. That's right. For, so anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Thank you, Mister Know It All. For like payroll tax or for the payroll programs yeah. and stuff. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, remember, Open Tax Resolution is there for you. Three one two six six four six six four nine or visit freeirsbook dot com. What? That's right, freeirsbook.com. One more time, freeirsbook.com. You can get a copy of your free IRS book. Arm yourselves with knowledge. Go in there and understand what is going on with your IRS problems, and this book will be able to help you step-by-step to figure out your IRS problems. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to our sponsors and come right back here on AM560. The The Answer. Answer.